holiday. A new kind of class offered at gyms. It's a workout without sweating. From the Global Newsroom in Toronto, News Hour Final with Leslie Roberts. Thank you for joining us. Well, the Liberals are hoping there is something for everyone in their party platform unveiled by Dalton McGuinty today. But it is one promise in particular to help new Canadians get a job that is getting pushback tonight. More on that in a moment. But first, the Liberal promises beginning with no new taxes. Other highlights include a 30% grant for undergraduate tuition fees and college and university students, a tax credit to employers that hire recent immigrants, and expanding GO train service so that trains run all day. Global Mark McAllister has more. They call it Hold Together, a slick campaign platform based on the Liberal record in Ontario over two terms. A new chapter, so to speak, in McGuinty's book for the future of the province. These are serious times. What Ontario needs is a serious plan. I welcome the opportunity to put our plan up against the oppositions in this election. Chief among the plans to try and bolster education, health care, and the economy are new grants to middle class students. The party's key campaign commitment would offer 30% off the average undergraduate tuition, which is approximately $1,600 for university students and a $730 discount for those in Ontario colleges. A recently announced home renovation tax credit for seniors and house calls for the elderly would take care of another generation. But the Queen's Park opposition continues to warn would-be supporters, complete with props. The elephant in the room that Dalton McGuinty cannot hide, and it's this. Dalton McGuinty has already planned his next tax increase. The Liberals are also offering to fund three new university campuses throughout the province, creating 60,000 new post-secondary spaces, matching an offer from other political parties, in addition to the tuition grants, which students say still isn't enough. If we're going to continue to see the tuition fee increases that we've had under the Liberal government, then the grant doesn't mean as much if our tuition fees are going to increase every year. The push for clean energy, all-day go train service, and a tax credit to businesses for hiring new immigrants are among the plans. But questions still surround how to pay for it all. He's made all sorts of promises in 2003 and 2007. They haven't come to fruition. And Ontarians are asking themselves, why should we believe him this time? The Premier's response when asked repeatedly if his party will raise taxes... We, we will not. Let the convincing begin along with the campaign. Mark McAllister, Global News. More now on the promise to help new immigrants find jobs. It has many accusing the Liberals of trying to buy votes and discriminating against other immigrants who've been living in Ontario for years, as well as those Canadians born here. Lama